Hey, what's up? This is Royce the Five Nine, and you're watching the Inside Track, presented by BeatStars. The process going into this album was, um, it was different from anything else that I've ever done because uh, I've never made beats, but I've always produced. And um, I didn't realize that fully until I started making beats. And making beats to me, like the definition of it, is just basically learning this stuff. You know what I mean? So like what I did was I just started off just like messing with shit. And like I'm a firm believer that you can just start throwing shit into logic, because I don't use FL Studios like everybody else. I'm um I'm taking the hard route. I pretty much treat it the same way that I treat writing raps and recording raps. It's an interesting process to learn. So the beginning process for me with the album, I always say that this album um, is the first album that happened to me instead of me planning to do it. I literally would come in here every day and just make like a thousand beats, you know what I'm saying? And not even save them, just for practice. So like I made one, I rapped over it, cool, put it to the side, made another one, rapped over it. And then after a while, like I started coming up with, with shit where I was like, oh, I started to be able to shape a narrative a little bit and it started to become more interesting to me. And then next thing you know, I look up and I'm a, like a halfway in the album mode. I'm like, holy shit. Once I got that far, then I felt like, all right, you know what? I might as well just do the whole album. Why not? I feel like it was meant for me to do this now. Um, Porter said, it's good that you got this out the way now because there's a certain recklessness here that will not be here after you become a little bit better. Like, you know, once you start becoming a little bit more polished, all the recklessness goes out the window. It happened to me with rapping. Same thing with rapping. Like, anything reckless that I used to be, you know, sometimes I lay drunk ass vocals and they just come out so reckless, that's gone forever. You know what I mean? Like, in every master, every master that I know, every master beat maker that I know, um, you name them, I know them all. And I got, I got relationships with most of them. The first thing they're gonna tell you is what they what they won't do, right? It's always what they won't do. Like the better you get, the more rules you set up for yourself. To be like a, a a great producer, just knows he knows how much of everything. He knows how much seasoning goes into the food. So a great producer will always will also make sure that the right people are in the room, and then he can make sure that those people play to their strengths. He, he makes, puts those people in position to play to their strengths.